Hello everyone, welcome back to Trek A Day. Just finished watching the latest episode of Star Trek Lower Decks. And it was thoroughly enjoyable. It's not one of my all time favorites in the series, it's not this big groundbreaking episode, but it's one that I have zero complaints with. It is just a perfectly tailored, brief, little, fun, humorous story with some light social commentary, a bit of nostalgia in visiting characters from previous treks, and a little bit of exploration of relationships and the development of the characters of the current show. There's a lot of silly humor, but it all felt very appropriate. It didn't really go too far over the top with its goofy, spontaneous ridiculousness that it can sometimes delve into. Instead, it felt appropriate for the context of the story on Ferenginar and the exploration of Ferengi culture as a mirror to the capitalist elements of our own culture worked well in a very just fun, lighthearted way. It wasn't very heavy-handed. It all kind of worked with the comedic tone as, as we get into the idea of the Ferengi joining the Federation. And I enjoyed seeing Rom and Lita back and getting a little bit into how under Rom's leadership, how Ferengi culture has shifted in some ways and some of the conflict with that, which is always very hard for these big cultural shifts and leading into joining the Federation and the way Rom and Lita planned out their working of the presentation and the way he was kind of acting in the beginning to create a scenario in which they could really test and see whether or not this could could work and Captain Freeman shows an understanding of what he was doing and an understanding and a, and a respect for their culture enough to where things could work with Ferengi membership in the Federation and to get more of that exploration of Ferengi society we have the rest of our cast from the Cerritos exploring the planet updating the Federation travel guide, uh, trying to get a, a piece of the culture, and part of it is that Rutherford and Tendi are in a fake marriage trying to explore a element of Ferengi culture and the awkwardness and the tension that it creates, and I think that was handled well because they very easily could have slipped into the commonly used ploy of using this to bring these two characters of a very close friendship into a romantic relationship. Too often that's where, when they're forced in this awkward situation during the process, it's in the beginning very troublesome and it's a frightening experience, but by the end they realize they actually do love each other and I'm glad they didn't go that route. It's still keeping the platonic friendship and they're back to being more comfortable. So I like the way that was handled. Boimler in his discovery of television and commercials. Uh, you get a lot of the exploration of culture through that in a way that was it was funny. And then Mariner is acting out as she's still struggling to break her cycle of self-sabotage. And she's gotten to a point where she has handled it seemingly better than usual and for a longer period of time to where she's getting almost antsy like she almost needs something to be angry about and she really doesn't so she tries to force it and i think that this is another chapter in that growth of the character the the maturity of that character so all around it was just a fun little episode that had lots of little pieces and i think all of them worked pretty well to create just kind of a an interesting piece, an interesting chapter, and it just was a fun little half hour.